Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, welcome to One Broadway Collaborative's presentation with J.D. Short and Alice Hazen. J.D. is going to start us off, and uh, he is going to be performing a set, and then uh, Alice will come up, and J.D. will be joining her to back her up on her set as well. So we've got a great evening of music for you. So everybody sit back, relax, and enjoy, and let's hear it for J.D. Short. Thank you, everybody. Thanks, Aaron. Thank you, Alice. Stick around for her set. It's going to be amazing. So with that, I'm going to press my timer and get started. So just as a little intro tune, I will mostly be playing uh, original music, but I like to uh, use this tune as a little introduction. It's an old lead belly tune. It's about the piney woods of Louisiana, but um, in the part of Texas I'm from, it's the same sort of landscape. So I like opening with that tune. Thank you. Now I'm going to uh, use a little innovation that um, I like to. I don't really believe in drummers anymore. They're too expensive and too temperamental and usually too flashy for my sort of mild demeanor. So here's my drummer. So now I'm going to play uh, an original tune of mine and for the most part originals hereafter. i 
I'm scared of you I'm scared of you But please think highly of me I'm scared of you I'm scared of you But please think highly of me kind of doing the the folk folk thing tonight um i'm a i'm a fan of that sort of old the, the sort of folk tradition with the kind of anti-war movement so this is a tune kind of about when you blame stuff on somebody else when you know that you you were sort of the problem <laughs>
changing the world's design. I'd much rather be the persuader to get all the squares to resign. And I don't want to be any hangman. And I'm not sure you need to be free when you're putting the world back in motion. You're just doing the necessary. They say they're on glasses. They say we're all the same. One doesn't war on their equal. If you have the foreigner. Thank you. Um, this next tune, I don't, I don't do murder ballads. Um, this is the closest thing to a murder ballad. It's a, it's a car crash ballad. And this is also Aaron's favorite favorite tune of mine. So, giving a shout out to old Aaron. She died young in 
chance for her to become a cynic as I lay you down deep in the ground to dream on. Thank you. I'm now uh, swapping off to my other guitar uh, in an alternative tuning. I used to know this saxophone player that wanted to learn the guitar, and he was cheating by using an uh, open tuning. And uh, I actually liked it so much that I used it. I was talking about this actually with Alice. One of the great things about learning an instrument or a great way to learn an instrument is uh, through songwriting. So here's to that. Um, yes. Got my shaker egg. Yeah, that's a tune about regrets. Uh, now this is moving on to a theme of kind of the opposite of, maybe it's not the opposite of regrets, but uh, just living your life and not participating in any way and just kind of wondering what it would be like to do so. If you could uh, sing along. I'm gonna just show you the chorus. Sometimes I tell myself some useful lies to help me get along. Sometimes I tell myself some useful lies to help me get along. Sing with me. My 
future. Sometimes I tell myself some useful lies to help me get along. Oh, oh, oh. I dream of adventure. Life on the sea was my destiny. My family told me, try the lighthouse instead and try to get ahead. Longing could sue me to be myself and not someone else and stop being just a watcher. Sometimes I tell myself some useful lie to help me get along. Sometimes I tell myself some useful lie to help me get along. My turn. Sometimes I tell myself some useful lie.
my turn. Sometimes I tell myself some useful lie to help me get along. Ah, ah, ah. But uh, I'm not going to end on that. Uh, the useful lie is that I don't really believe that song's meaning. I, I'm, a, I'm more of an optimism uh, guy, so here's, here's a little more optimistic of a tune. Rooftops keep falling on my head It don't matter what I say I'd rather be Deep down inside, I wanna open up, show up, don't give up, just yet on a day, just yet. There's always stuff you can have. There's always stuff to get you off track. But no reason to not take a crack at it. And open up. Show up. Open up, things will get better if I just open up. Everything will change if I just open up. Things will get better if I just open up. Everything will change, open up. Show. tunes here. Um, another kind of interesting topic that uh, when Alice and I were preparing for this show, we talked about a Tom Waits quote. I don't remember the, the gist of it, but we both seem to enjoy kind of uh, sad songs in, in a major key. So that's what these next two tunes are. Um, this one is sort of a, a bit of... Um, Every time you stub your toe or for every time that you you beat yourself up, you know, it's it it, it You're better than that basically, right? Um, don't want to forget my percussion section here Pain could part 
it sees The pain could only help me Get off my knees It only get me halfway Burned out at both ends Up a creek with no paddle Without relations Everybody hurts themselves Sometimes I hurt myself Sometimes we hurt the hill, the pain only could keep these intrusive thoughts still, it only gets you halfway burned out at both ends, up the creek with no paddle, without relations, everybody hurts themselves sometimes, I hurt myself sometimes, we hurt Take that deeper breath Everybody hurts themselves sometimes I hurt myself sometimes We hurt change memory, if pain could win wars, if pain only could help me settle my old scores, it only get us halfway and burned out at both ends, up the creek with no paddle or without relations, everybody hurts themselves sometimes, I hurt myself. Sometimes we hurt ourselves Sometimes the pain is real But I love you more ah, 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 ah. And uh, this last tune is sort of about, uh, you know, the one that got away. This is the real prom, uh, prom night ballad dance right here is what I'm hoping for this, for this tune. I remember your 18th birthday. Your heart was torn in two. Know what to do? You're at the end of your rope. You're at the end of a line. There's nothing I could say that would ever change your mind. And I'm hung up on the details. And I'm hung up on the details. And I'm hung. my mind. I was insecure, but you had the time. And it feels so relieving to put something down that was getting in the way of going on up. And I'm hung up on the details.
that how I saw you, you didn't mean, but with fresh eyes that see clearer that what didn't happen makes us dearer. Everybody, thank you very much, Aaron. One Broadway. Stick around for Alice Hazen's show. It's going to be incredible. Thank you all. Have a great night. Do we? <clears throat> we're going to take a short break. All right. So hang on, and we'll take a short break, uh, and Alice will come up, and we'll continue the show.
JD for starting off this show. Really wonderful, wonderful songs. Lots of emotions in that. All right. So welcome back. Uh, we have, I'm sure you didn't go anywhere, but we weren't here for a moment. So uh, we have uh, now Alice Hazen is going to entertain us, and JD is going to back her up on some stuff. But let's hear it for Alice Hazen. Thanks, everyone. I'm really excited to be here out of Memphis, Tennessee, visiting my brother and his wife, Caitlin, and uh, got some really special folks in the audience tonight. And I appreciate everybody who's watching virtually as well. with a cover, but hopefully an uh, original take on a cover for you, Ecstasy of Gold. Um, I'm going to invite J.D. Short back up here onto the stage, and just let's in appreciate J.D. one more time for sharing his original songs with us, spilling his soul. J.D., I'm, I think, um, I was thinking about that Tom Waits quote, 
I think it is, I love it when beautiful melodies tell me horrible things. Ah, yes, yeah, incredible. <laughs> or almost close, as close to that as much as I could get. But, um, but yeah, what a great quote. And I love writing beautiful melodies that say horrible things as well. So we have that in common. <laughs> this next song is off of my first album. And uh, if anybody out there virtually loves the music you're hearing tonight, you can always just put my name into whatever streaming or um, audio service you like, and you can find some of these songs, including this one, is called Queen. Hope you enjoy. thinking to myself there's no reason to be scared there's just the three most important men in my life are the audience tonight my dad my brother and my partner will no reason to be nervous about that <laughs> all together in the same place three most important dudes Aww. well um we've come to the part of the night where i'm going to tell you some uh horrible things with some beautiful melodies and that is the environmental songs that I've been writing in the past several years. So I really care deeply about the things that are happening to our world. And um, I've been finding that those are some really compelling subjects to write about. And so on my first album, the same one as Queen, um, 
we have a song called Memphis Sands. This is a song about the Memphis Sand Aquifer, and um, it is the body of water underneath the city of Memphis and a couple other neighboring um, towns and some states that supplies the water. And it actually is one of the best, cleanest sources of drinking water in the US and some of the best in the world. Um, but it is constantly under threat from pollution. Um, and now we have, we're looking at a huge supercomputer coming to Memphis needing coolant water. So there's a big fight right now going on um, trying to get, you know, the AI computer to use recycled water and not draw even more water out of the aquifer than is already being drawn. So it's a big fight. So I feel like this is a relevant song again. Um, and it's just a warning song about how we don't want to lose the things that make our environment and our home a, a good place to live. Memphis Sands.
you. JD has learned all these songs for this show and tomorrow's show, show at the Burren. So I just want to say how much I appreciate you just nailing those songs. This next one is also an environmental song. And it's actually going to be coming out in October on a new EP entitled Dream of Rain. And this song is the eponymous song on the album, Dream of Rain. It's about, it's basically a rain song. Um, it's about all of the wildfires, starting with the Australian wildfire, which really sparked the idea for this song of 2020, but also the ones that have happened in California and now Canada um, that have really come about so much more frequently in the past several years. And this is a wish that we could only just manifest those rain clouds to go where they need to go. If we could just dream of rain, pray for rain, sing for rain, dance for rain, um, then maybe we could get them going to where they need to be. Are, are you cool doing dream of rain? Oh. Uh, Sorry, I put it down as D-O-R. <laughs> I may have actually, uh, I, may, I may have to go grab it real fast. <clears throat> yes, That's okay. I will get it. Well, uh, sorry about that. I put it down as a uh, abbreviation on the set list, so it wasn't exactly that clear. I'm gonna be right back. Here we go. Is that no I always just write it down like that. No, no, no worries at all. All right. So, like I said, um, this is a rain song. Kind of sad. A beautiful melody telling you terrible things. Dream. 
rain, dance for rain. It's not too late to make a change. It's not in vain, just make it rain. Sun, moon, suns, and hurricanes. Anything that does the flames. And one day we'll be home again. Amidst the pain, still hope remains. Dream of rain, pray for rain, sing for rain, dance for rain. It's not too late to make a change. It's not in vain, just make it rain. Sun, moon, suns, and hurricanes. Anything that does the flames. And one day we'll be home again. Amidst the pain. to throw that one no, into the good. mix. All good. All good. <laughs> it's over now, though. That's the good part. <laughs> no, that was awesome. You're nailing everything, and I really appreciate you being up here. Yeah. yeah it's sounding it's amazing. Happy to be here. Um, I'm going to have JD join me for one more and then give him a little pause before I bring him back up one more time. This next one um, is also going to be on the new EP, Dream of Rain, out in October. And this one is one of my favorites. It actually... Um, it's kind of named after a book that my dad used to read me when I was a kid, entitled Good Night Moon. And uh, this one, though, is sort of along the same lines of Good Night Moon. You're looking up at the moon and thinking about how peaceful it is. But the um, part of the song that is not in the book is that there's a lot of stuff going on on the surface of our Earth that's not very good. So it's about looking around, seeing what's not going well, while at the same time looking up at the moon and finding solace in the peacefulness of the moon.
light in the west, a fever dream. If you're ready, I'm not fighting a war over who knows best. But I can see that we're coming in hot, can't pick to buy our fire lust. Even if it kills, we'll be winning the race. Victors of dust, prizes of rust. Well past the end, we'll be keeping pace. Good night, moon. Are you listening? Are you walking through the night? Good night, moon. Casting me. everyone. Thank you, JD. Well, here's one that you probably know, but you might not have heard like this before.
you guys. That was Tennessee whiskey. It's like Jeopardy. You get to think about it, and then I tell you what it was. <laughs> um, I got two more before I'll invite JD up again. Um, this next one is a song called The Depths, and this one is one of my favorites to play for people because it's an original and because it's also, I think, the first ever loop that I ever wrote on anything, on a loop pedal, on any kind of pedal with the violin. So hope you enjoy. Everybody in the crowd knows my name and knows all my discography and sings along and <laughs> I got a special, special crowd tonight, so thank you all. Um, I'm going to do this last one before JD comes back up. This is another one, this is actually made the first um, selection on the new project coming out in October and this is called Temperature Rising. And it's another song to come out of the COVID era for me, to use the Taylor Swift term for our songwriting years. Um, and this is about not only the temperature of the world rising, but also our internal temperatures rising physically with COVID. And it seems like the political temperature is just always rising. So tried to capture that state of unease and anxiety it was making me feel. Thank you. 
All right. Well, thank you all. I'm going to play just a few more tonight and invite JD back up. Um, we got just basically about three more, and I'm really looking forward to sharing these with JD. Um, I always like it when I end a song and I hear, hmm, from my dad. <laughs> I have to say he's one of the support, most supportive people. Um, everybody here has been so amazing to me in my life and I couldn't be doing shows like this and um, all over the country it seems this past spring uh, without you guys. And thank you all for also listening and supporting a place like One, Bri one Broadway Collaborative. It's very cool. What a great listening room. So, um, this is a fun tune. This is a cover, and it was a uh, 60s song that Alison Krauss and Robert Plant put on their album Raising Sand, which is a great uh, album of all sorts of songs, if you haven't checked it out. And you get to hear a new side of Robert Plant, not just the Led Zeppelin uh, frontman side. And um, it's, it's a funny one. It's a funny one. So I'm looking forward to sharing this one with you. <laughs> Thank you. 
y'all. That was a playful song. This time I heard a huh from my dad. <laughs> I can hear it all, dad. I can hear it all. But it's, it really is a honor to play for you guys and um, very special for me. Here's a tune about playing the fiddle, and it happens to include two fiddle tunes. I think this one's going to be a fun one, Tomorrow in the Burren, which I think is a very Irish forward venue, if I have done enough research and, f and found out enough about that place. And uh, we'll be opening for Linda Marks then, so if y'all are in the area, stop by. It's going to be fun, 3.30 p.m. at the Burren. So, yeah. Make my living playing fiddle I play it every night To tell the truth I'd fiddle If I didn't make it down And I sure like good liquor It makes me want to play Funny thing about the fiddle Is it makes you want to drink For a shot of homemade whiskey
y'all. We did save the fiddle tunes for last, and we got one tiny little fiddle tune left for you before we call it a night. Uh, this one I was a co-writer of, and it was a wonderful day writing this with uh, sunshine and rainbows and everything in between. And this is called By the Firelight, and it is just a good old fiddle tune. And one more time, I want to just everybody um, open it up for a thank you for JD for learning all of these songs to the note, to the exact chord. Man, you're a true pro. Oh, thank you. And I, I do plan on playing with you again oh, after you. this weekend. We're going to make it happen. I know it. Thank you. Yeah, all right. Yes. Feeling good? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, here we go. us tonight. We hope you have a wonderful evening. See you down the road. I'm right. Alice Hazen. This is J.D. Short. Thank you. Let's hear it again for J.D. Short and Alice Hazen. Thank you all for coming and uh, have a great weekend.